Hello and welcome to our, my channel. Um, this is Pam. Um, as you can see, I got my stack of books to get through. This is my tentative TBR for June. Um, I do have a couple more um, on Scribe, Overdrive, and Hoopla to get through. Currently on Hoopla, I'm doing a re read, well, it's actually a listen to The Great Gatsby, um, as well as the graphic novel John Wick, because I did see the John Wick Chapter 3 movie just recently, which I really enjoyed. And on Overdrive, I have The Queen of Tierling, as well as, um, what else? As well as the, uh, so like there's two, two or three other ones I'm doing. And Scribed, I am doing... I believe it's the flame in the mist everything I haven't quite started yet um, so this month I am doing my normal uh, reading reading rivalry book battle book democracy tic-tac-toe which I ended up getting with three tic-tac-toes last month and I'm also doing the summer-a-thon read-a-thon and I'm doing the romance-a-thon um, which is co-hosted by Jacqueline and Gabby both from the Weeby book and book club that I'm in and I'm going to be doing a couple more other readathons but those are the two main ones as well as buzzword which the buzzword for this time is you so I don't think I have any use on this stack but I do have some in, in the house um, I have like it's overflowing from my book cart as well as my library book case so I'm hopefully going to dwindle this down type of thing so currently I'm from this stack I'm currently reading um, carry on uh, rainbow row um, I'm on like the second chapter and I've enjoyed it so far this is my first rainbow row book and this one follows a character called Simon Snow which apparently is from one of her other books which I didn't realize until I read a little bit in the back um, but this is basically his story and it's like magic and a few other little tidbits. So far, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it so far. This is a different edition. Um, normally, you see the two main characters in it. And apparently, there is a sequel coming out of this one in September or November of this year. So, this is the one I'm currently doing. And I'm also going between the City of Brass type of one and again this is a fantasy magic story there is a sequel called um, the kingdom of copper which I already have it's in my house in the uh, book cart I have to read this one soon because this one's due on the 13th type of thing I'm on chapter 4 the chapters are really small I enjoy that there's a map well, at least there was a map yeah there was a map of the world in there um it kind of has a it's i'm getting a little like a latin vibe from it type of thing because it deals with like um a girl that summons up a a de, um like a genie dijon type of thing um so we'll see what journey she does then i'll be reading this for the weeby book and book challenge um I haven't really known too much about this book. Um, it just says, um, I waited an eternity for this. Um, we were stars, we were music, we were time. So, this one would work for my romance thon as well as my summer thon type of thing, and also would work for one of the other challenges then this is the one I was supposed to read last month but I didn't get a chance to get to it this is a brand new um, Jake Kristoff book with Amy Kaufman I also have Illuminati um, in my pile just haven't had a chance to get to it this is kind of like a space um, adventure sci-fi adventure type of thing and see how it goes um, again, another one I was supposed to read last month just came out. The brand new Mercy 
Thompson novel, which is one of the one of my favorite series, for, by Patricia Briggs, type of thing. Um, as I will, um, Mercy Thompson is a um, shapeshifter. She goes from a coyote to a person. She's married to the alpha of the werewolves in the Tri City area, and there's like Fay, there's shapeshifters, there's vampires. It's just up my jam, like really good. Um, I like I haven't started this one yet, but hopefully I will be starting it soon. Um, we're then going for something a little light. We have Grump, which is the story of Grumpy. I read her Rump, which is about Rapun um, Rapunzel. No, the one. Um, I uh, can't think of the, the character's name, but it's a fairy tale retelling. So this will work for my one of my bingos for um, fairy tale retellings as well. It's a yellow cover. Then I, another one I was supposed to have been reading for Asianathon, but I didn't get a chance to do it. This is a middle grade um, book that is part of the Rick Roden present series type of thing and the way I feel about it it's like a an, an Indian uh, girl going on an adventure in a museum with time there is another book in the series that I saw at the library the other day but I didn't pick it up because I wanted to finish this one first to see if I like this one then I have some contemporaries coming up um, night music and Watch Us Rise. This one also has a um, feminism, fem feminism um, type of story going on. So if I don't get to it this month, I will get to it next month because the Weeby Bookin book challenge next um, month is a feminism book type of thing. I don't really do too many contemporaries, so just want to th throw some of those in type of thing. Then... I have volume one and volume two of a graphic novel by Marissa Mayer, who does Renegades and also does Cinder series. I don't know too much about it, but I kind of like how the graphic is like really, really nice and graphic type of one. And plus I, I really enjoyed Renegades and Arch Enemies last month, so. Then I have a, this was, uh, put as a Christian fiction romance and it's basically a girl that wants to she has to marry in order to take care of her mother and so she has to find a husband and so she goes to um, like a cotton exposition in Atlanta and she wants to be like a silk weaver she meets like two different people and I guess she has to decide who she wants to be with. Um, I found this on Overdrive at first and then I was kind of excited I saw it at my library so I'm going to give that a whirl and plus this will work for my Bookopoly role of the Christian Romance which I had last month which I didn't get a chance to do. So and plus it's not that long it's like only like 200 and actually no 331 pages so. Then another little light-hearted one, um, Zombies vs. Unicorns, where we have different authors putting their side on which one's better. So we have Holly Black for Unicorns, we have Garth Nix, we have Meg Cabot, we have Catherine Dovey, we have Team Zombie with uh, Lady Bray, Cassandra Clare, um, Scott Westerfield for the that does the ugly series so it's like pretty cute cute little YA little fiction type of thing and then I also picked up this one which was Slayer which is set in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer world I've heard mixed reviews about this one I've never read a Buffy book so but I do enjoy the show so that is pretty much my tentative TBR for this month 
like I said, there's a couple, like 10 to 15 more books in the house, but these are the main ones that I'm going to try to get through. Um, I will be out of town, not next weekend, but the following weekend for a baseball game. So I might not have a lot of reading unless it'll be audiobooks, which I still am doing a lot of audiobooks type of thing. I do that when I'm cleaning my store and then also when I'm on road trips. I just tell my parents, like, hey, I can't hear you. I got my book going on. <laughs> so I just sit back and relax in the back seat with the uh, audiobooks going on. So if, it, if any of you have read these books, please comment about below. See if you have any recommendations for me. Like, what book did you, like, really wowed you the last couple of months? So I can add it to my Bookopoly community shelf square. And if there's any, you know, tips or anything of how to get through the heat during this lovely summer. It's already in the 90s here in Orlando, so, and ice cream truck's coming around, so I might go get myself some ice cream. You all have a wonderful um, day, and expand your reading horizon. Bye!